pattern. Pattern is when something is repeated very regularly. That's how I'm going to define it. The pattern here is like a march. Hep, two, three, four. Hep, two, three, four. And a march can get kind of boring. Here we have a very uh, even repetition in this grid and a repetition of the shapes and the shadows. The little bit of variation in the shapes of the shadows and light, light and dark areas that are cast by the trellis. But overall, do you find this a very interesting picture? If you like regularity, you may like this. You might even hang it on your wall. Uh, to my eye, it's just a little too regular. Now, here we have some patterns, but they become a little more interesting. Look at the variation in these three windows here, for example. And then look at the variation in these three windows. It's just almost the opposite. And then we go down to these windows, and we get a different kind of window, and each one's a little bit different. And then we come down here, and we get pretty much the same thing repeated. And then here we see a difference in the shades. So see how we're getting variation in the pattern that tends to make it a little more interesting. What do you notice most in this photograph? The staircase. The staircase, the fire escape. Yeah, there's enough variation there and it casts shadows and things that uh, we get these diagonals and that makes it stand out. There's quite a bit of variation in this and this makes it a more interesting picture than the trellis. All right, so what is rhythm? I'm going to define rhythm as repetition that is a little more irregular than a pattern. So a pattern is a repetition of fairly regular uh, repetition. There may be some variation in it that makes it interesting. I feel like we don't have quite as strong a sense of repeated uh, pattern in this picture in the, or in the vertical uh, lines. So we get several vertical lines but the spacing between them varies quite a bit. So here's a little space, here's a larger space. This space is different from this space. This one's narrower, this is a little wider. See how we have some variation in the spacing and we also have um, our very regular pattern of the bricks. And then we get down to the lines here and we get a little more irregularity. We get the gas meters. They're not evenly spaced. So a rhythm is more like so you get a little syncopation or something in the spacing that makes it different from a march. Does that make sense? If rhythm doesn't make sense to you, then look at things in terms of pattern. I know for a long time I felt that mu uh, rhythm was music and it didn't make sense to me to apply it to pictures. I can see it better now uh, after looking at pictures for a, a long period of time and looking for rhythm. I can begin to see how it's a useful concept. But if it doesn't work for you, then think in terms of pattern or just in terms of repetition. Okay, do we have repetition here? Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's sets up a pattern or a rhythm or patterns and rhythms. How would you describe or are they just repetitions? Kind of random. I'd say rhythm. Okay, there might be a rhythm to the cars. It's somewhat irregular. How about in the Ferris wheel? Is that a rhythm? Is it predictable or less predictable? Regular or irregular? Regular. It's very regular. So, see I would call that a pattern. I think it's useful if we look at that kind of uh, regular repetition and call that one thing and then look at more irregular repetitions but where things aren't totally random and call that rhythm. If you define, uh, if you look on the internet at rhythm, you may get some other aspects to the definition like uh, motion. I have not included motion as a um, principle or an element. Unity. Some people say harmony and unity are the same thing. I think we can distinguish harmony and unity by saying that harmony is what makes a picture easy to look at. Unity uh, contributes to that sense of being easy to look at. 
But in the case of unity, we have individual elements within the composition that do not compete for attention. Now that's true of harmony too. So uh, if the colors don't compete for attention, like in the metro sign where we saw the reds competing with the blues, competing with the whites, and then all the squiggly lines, but we have that unity of the peppers in the harmonious picture. They're all the same sort of line and form and color. Uh, the key theme is communicated clearly. So in this case, we're not really talking about so much the elements of art. We could be talking about the elements, but the picture holds together because it's all about one thing. It's unified by its theme. The design evokes a sense of completeness and organization. So if we look at the picture and we feel that it's a bunch of pictures kind of stuck together, then it's not a unified picture. Is there a unity of theme in this picture? What's this picture about? What do you think they're all doing? Walking. Walking. Where do you think they're going? Somewhere. Right, somewhere. <laughs> the fact that it's early morning, does that, and the kids have their backpacks. Oh, school. Yeah, it looks like they're going to school or going to work or to, you know, whatever, they're, they're starting their day. So we kind of have a picture about that, and the light suggests that it's the beginning of the day. What helps to unify this picture? How does line unify this picture? What lines do we see? We see lots of verticals here that create a sort of rhythm or pattern leading the eye down the walkway here. What do we see in these three figures that unifies them? color for one thing, right? Mm -hmm. Anybody notice this? They're all in step. Mm -hmm. Isn't that kind of cute? Mm -hmm. And I checked, I took three frames walking down here and they stay in step the whole way. And we get the repetition of the these forms, the Pooh Bears, the Blues. We do have some contrasting color here so that might make it less harmonious, but I think it feels like a unified picture. Okay, this is a portrait of Stephen Gamble, an artist, illustrator. What creates unity here? What's this picture about? An artist. Yeah, it's about an artist. And everything in the environment helps support that. So we get a unity there that it makes sense that we have all these things in the environment. Um, rectangles back there that represent, what is that, a frame? Yeah. And then um, the rectangle or the triangle of the corner of the table there with a drawing on it. And then the pentagon. But all the shapes and things contribute to the uh, idea that this is an artist. Then uh, the values mean that we don't have a lot of uh, competing for attention between colors. <clears throat> we do have competition maybe in light and darks, but there's nothing that draws our eye violently to one area or another. So we have these darker areas down here, but they just kind of help him stand out. And this frame tends to emphasize his head. So overall, I think there's a lot of unity in this picture. Can there be disunifying elements in a picture? Yes. So you can have things that create a sense of discord in a picture. But overall, this has a fairly unified feel. It doesn't feel like a bunch of pictures stuck together. Okay, and our last principle is variety. So what do we see variety in in this photograph? Color. Color. Color, uh-huh. Shapes. Uh, Shapes. Any line in this picture? Lines. Lots of lines. Mm -hmm. How would you describe the shapes? What are two words that are opposites for shapes? Straight and curvy. Rectilinear and curvilinear. Organic and geometric. Those are good contrasts. We get organic where things are irregular like this. 
where they don't follow a predictable path down in here. So things in nature tend to get more organic as they degrade. If you take a building, over time the building begins to crumble and instead of having those nice geometric lines, it becomes more organic <clears throat> as it falls apart. Where do we see variety in this picture? Pardon? In the color, okay. Shapes? Shapes. Lines? Mm -hmm. Textures? The water has a texture to it, a sense of texture. The building in the background, there's some smooth things, there's some rough things. Do we see anything that looks organic as opposed to geometric? Okay, the plant is definitely organic. And if we look down in here, these are not geometric shapes in the um, staining on the walls. Certainly the water is very irregular in its line, so we get very organic lines in the water, unpredictable. Do we have emphasis in this picture? Mm -hmm. What's emphasized? The gondolier guy. Yeah. The and what creates emphasis? The red, ribbon. the red ribbon. That's just an eye magnet, isn't it? I mean, it's that slide goes up and your eye goes almost immediately right. to that red ribbon. Why is it emphasized? Is it that red creates more emphasis than blue or green or yellow or purple? It's stronger contrast. Contrast, because the ribbon is uh, a lighter color and you get that darker arch and you get his darker shirt. But there's another thing. How about proportion? How much red is there in that picture? You know, you can call the bricks red, uh, so you may look around it and see other reddish uh, hues, but certainly that ribbon stands out because it's a little bit of red in a sea of other colors. And then maybe the yellows stand out, the yellow stripes, although we get yellow up in the top and so on. But see how, how many uh, principles are at work here in this picture and in many pictures? If I were to show this as an example of proportion, you might say, oh, okay, I get it. And if I showed it as an example of contrast, you might say, oh, yeah, okay, the ribbon contrast. If I show it as an example of variety, yeah, I see how that's variety. Is it harmonious? What do you think? Pardon? Maybe. It's a little bit busy, and there's so much that kind of competes for attention in it that it may not feel entirely unified or as unified as some other pictures and as harmonious as something like the peppers. So what I want you to do when you look at pictures is start thinking in terms of these new, not necessarily new, but uh, maybe you're seeing them in a new way, uh, your uh, elements of art, line, shape, form, color, value, texture, space, and how those elements are used in the picture, how they're arranged according to the principles of art. Okay, so we've discussed three things that make photographs interesting, subject matter, concept, and form. And we spent quite a bit of time talking about form and distinguishing the elements of art and the principles of art.